Hello guys, hi again. This is Alex signing in to give you two breaking news for this video. So just sit back and relax. I will take care of you. All right, I hope you guys that is watching this video is doing great for today. So guys, um, this news that I'll be telling you is brought to you by PCN or Preferred Currency News. All right, now for the breaking news, first is a virtual currencies essential to internet infrastructure. Peter Van Valkenburg to U.S. Senate. And the second news will be unconfirmed Tron to partner with China's Google or what they call Baidu. All right, so I'll be giving you these um, their information later on. Before I start, I just want to clear to everyone first. We always tell this one to our videos that we are not financial advisors. So um, we also do our our own research about cur currencies. So as well, um, we also um, we also recommend that you do your own research so that you can decide for yourself, right? Again, do your own research. Okay, so guys, um, for latest news and updates, you can visit the website PCN or Preferred Currency News, and also you can subscribe to them, okay? So, virtual currencies essential to internet infrastructure, Peter Van Valkenburg to U.S. Senate. All right. So Van Valkenburg reportedly explained the importance of cryptos to the future of the internet to the U.S. Senate. SAS DLT and crypto assets may pro uh, may proffer solutions to the flaws of the World Wide Web. Van Valkenburg also explained to senators that Bitcoin eliminates existing financial barriers. Okay, while well, Bitcoin established altcoins like Ethereum have succeeded, succeeded, uh, succeeded in bringing the revolutionary blockchain technology into the limelight, some regulators and policymakers still see nothing good in crypto. Against the backdrop, Peter Van Valkenburg has explained the importance of the nascent digital assets to U.S. regulators in a Senate Banking Committee hearing. U.S. Senators wary of, wary of crypto. According to a Forbes report last October 11, Elizabeth Warren, a potential 2020 Democratic Party presidential candidate, said in a Senate Banking com Committee hearing that digital assets are easiest to steal and bad actors are continually launching fake initial coin offerings or ICOs to defraud retail, uh, retail investors. Oh, that's so sad to hear. All right. The senator also said that regulators are facing an arduous task trying to nurture productive aspects of crypto while protecting consumers. Alabama Democratic Senator Doug Jones also um, opine, uh, opened that he has reservations about digital assets because from his years of experience in prosecuting criminals he has come to understand that crypto criminals are more technologically sophisticated than law enforcement so bitcoin and distributed ledger technology have huge potential um, per a news release on website last october 11 Peter Van Valkenburg, di um, director of research at Coin Center, a leading nonprofit organization whose primary objective is to tackle the policy challenges um, plugging the digi digital currency industry, has testified in support of cryptocurrency innovation and the need of amenable regulation before the Senate Banking Committee. Committee, rather. So. Um, Van Valkenburg reportedly argued that the bargaining digital asset class and the groundbreaking distributed ledger technology or DLT that underpin it is essential to the future of the internet as they already revolutionizing the way information is organized on the internet. 
the um, the highly reputed proponent of blockchain technology and crypto made it clear that there is a real possibility that digital assets and DLT could eliminate some of today's problems with the internet. We hope so, right? As it is dedicated, researchers and developers are working around the clock, experimenting and building solutions with cryptocurrency. Okay, so it's not perfect yet, guys. Um, the researcher also explained to senators that while Bitcoin and other digital assets are, are still pretty experimental, the, th um, the truth remains that crypto is a significant breakthrough in computer science since it makes it possible for people to carry out financial transactions across the, gro the globe in real time with corporate intermediaries. Now, as such, the gospel of distributed ledgers and cryptocurrency should be embraced and favorably regulated, then Volkmer argued. So he further noted that blockchain technology eliminates the costly vulnerabilities present in systems with a single point of failure. Well, it's normal, right? trial and error. Now, roughly half of all Americans, 143 million or 143 million, have had their social security numbers exposed to hackers, oh, because of a breach of Equifax. He stated, citing several, um, several other scenarios where criminals had exploited the vulner uh, vulnerabilities of centralized system to steal vast amount of money. Oh, that's so sad. So guys, make sure to be safe, especially the um, the information or the identity or our identity. It's very, very, very important for us to be secure, right? Okay, now going to the next um, news for today. Unconfirmed Tron to partner with China's Google or they call it Baidu. Okay. So this news also is also brought to you by PCN or Preferred Currency News. Now let me give you the details. But let me read it to you guys. Now, the team of cryptocurrency project Tron or TRX has reportedly partnered with China's largest internet search provider Baidu. Crypto market news service Coinus has claimed this is this in a tweet last October 11, citing its private correspondence with the Tron's team. Neither Tron nor Baidu have been able to confirm the partnership to Coin Telegraph as of press time. So, without specifying the details of the partnership, Coinus has claimed that a deal between Tron and China's internet giant Baidu will be officially revealed by the cloud storage service Baidu Cloud next week. While Coinus claims that Tron has exclusively confirmed the partnership in private correspondence with it, the crypto platform itself has not yet officially announced any details of the partnership or even the identity of its new business partner. Tron's CEO, Justin Sun, has recently hinted on Twitter at a secret partnership within an unnamed industry giant that is valued at tens of billions of dollars. In his tweet posted last Friday, October 12, Sun has similarly provided little information. He said, Finally, first time to partner with tens of billions U.S. dollars valuation industry giant. Guess the name. Okay, so it was mentioned in Tron's website, the decentralized internet company Tron Foundation was established in Singapore last July 2017. While Tron's open source protocol was launched in December 2017. Now, the company has dual headquarters in Beijing and San Francisco and a team of over 100 employees working all over the globe with some of them being formerly employed in by China's internet giants such as Alibaba, Tencent, and Baidu. In late September, Tron released details about its partnership with popular torrent client BitTorrent, wow, following the earlier acquisition of the company. A collaboration between the two companies dubbed Project Atlas will reportedly 
enable the users of the BitTorrent client to receive rewards in Tron for seeding tor tor torrent files. Earlier, um, earlier in August, Baidu has joined Tencent and Alibaba in enforcing new anti-crypto policies in line with the China's overall toughness stance on the industry. Now, the firm has shut down at least two popular crypto-related forums with a notice to their users stating that Baidu's measures are compliant with the relevant laws, regulations, and policies. Okay, now that's cool, right? On September 26, or last September 26, Baidu has released its Baidu blockchain white paper um, version 1.0, aiming to create the independent development of the superchain network system. Now, Tron is currently the 11th largest cryptocurrency by market cap, according to coin market cap data. On June 25th, Tron celebrated its Independence Day when it's migrated off the Ethereum blockchain to its own independent bomb, independent public blockchain. At press time, Tron is trading at 0.023 dollars, up to 2.79 percent on the day. So the coin saw its all-time price high of. 0.217 dollars on january 5 2018 which was followed by uh, which would which was followed by a fall in value of almost 90 percent over the rest of the year against the backdrop of an overall declining crypto market congratulations to tron and baidu for the partnership all right, so guys, that's all for the breaking news and for today. That's two news, okay? And I hope it will help your research about, um, or it, it gives you, it gave you the information that you need. Okay, so guys, for, um, in order for you to get notified, to be the first one to get notified, um, visit www.preferredcurrency.news and you can subscribe, okay, you can subscribe, just, you know, you can use PayPal for a monthly recurring, only $15, guys, $15 per month fiat, or you can use the Coinbase, okay, Bill, um, for only 180 okay, 180 dollars that's annual subscription to be paid of course with crypto all right now in this channel guys you can also watch more videos okay and don't forget to subscribe please hit that subscribe button all right visit the website okay now before i say goodbye to you i want to invite you again guys hello out there invite you again let's fly to men's belarus for the crypto games conference all right that will be in october 17 and 18 together we create games community and the future that's very cool right okay there will be 600 plus professionals 100 plus gaming brands 65 plus speakers and 25 and more countries that will be joining the conference so it will be cool it will be fun it will be very exciting and for sure you will have a lot of information that you need right you will hear the topic of the speakers right and for those of you out there who doesn't have any idea what is the crypto games conference um guys crypto games conference is the first international conference dedicated to games and game services with the use of blockchain and cryptocurrencies so the aim of the summit is to unite the worlds of games blockchain cryptocurrencies and other cutting-edge technologies discuss the profound implications of their convergence and discover the new opportunities that result from their synergies wow all right um you know what i really love attending or joining these um these kind of conference or events because you know why um it's um it's a kind of event that simil that is similar to um, having the world peace, right? Because unity, okay? We can have the unity. We can be united in one. We can share our thoughts and knowledge about one thing and about specific things. And 
at the same time, we can enjoy the moment. We can enjoy the day. And let's have new experiences about it. Right? Okay. So, um, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. This has been Alex. Thank you so much. Signing off. Bye.